Hey guys, it's Mart Thoughts, and while I was out today, I found another member of the Supermax family. This is the Supermax 350. It's one of the newer Supermaxes, and it's also one of the only ones that wasn't air uh, tank powered. It's it's actually a Springer blaster. Now, it's very similar to the AirTech line, where it fires out of these pegs, and as such, it doesn't actually have barrels. So dart fit is essential. If you don't have good dart fit, it doesn't work. According to the research I've done, apparently the with the correct darts, this could shoot up to 30 feet. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those darts, but it will fire the uh, these kind of newer darts. Not really streamlines, but I got a, a nerf suction d dart. Um, this is some sort of Busby dart. This is a Nerf Screamer Micro, a Whistler Micro, and then this is one of the darts from the Triple Shot, which worth the best because it's got the largest hole in the back. But I'm gonna load this uh, the 350 and do a quick firing test. And even though the dart fit isn't the best, it's still shoots maybe 15 feet. Uh, you could definitely use it for an awfuls round blaster. It's actually pretty decent and the, the thing that I think is cool about it is it makes a lot of noise when it fires. Uh, well, I guess the triple shot dart didn't work. But anyway, it makes a lot of noise while it fires which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it really kind of adds to the feel of a little bit of recoil. It's just kind of a fun blaster to play with. It doesn't really have any uses. There's probably some way to rebel all this, but as you can see on the turret, there's really just not a lot of room. So you definitely have your work cut out for you trying to rebel it. That being said, it you know it will still fire the the newer darts, although probably not as well as it used to uh, the older ones. So it's still worth kind of picking up to play with. So, that is the Supermax 350. Thanks for watching.